In this video, I'll describe the data storage page. As the name implies, this is where you configure the storage of data readings from your sky quality meter. The first type of file you can elect to store is a simple readings file in comma separated value format. These files contain readings that are appended each time a reading is acquired. The first option allows you to disable the capability altogether. The second option allows you to store readings consecutively in a file on your local hard drive. The default location of these readings files is My Documents under the Windows User Account and for Vista users, Documents. You can use the usual Windows dialog box to change the location. The third option allows you to automatically generate a file name based on the calendar date of the data collection computer and the serial number of the meter. This organizes your data on a midnight to midnight basis. If you choose this option, you'll need to specify a folder to contain the automatically generated file names. You can use the usual Windows dialog box to choose the folder. The last option allows you to specify automatically named files based on the Julian day and the serial number of the meter. This organizes your data into noon to noon time periods. And again, you need to specify the folder name for these automatically named files. The next type of file that you might want to store is a JPEG image containing the readings display page. To do this you check store and you specify a folder and file name for the JPEG file. You can use the usual Windows dialog box to specify the location. Note that each time a reading is acquired the JPEG image is updated so that at any time you have the latest image on your hard drive. Similarly, you can elect to save a JPEG image containing your graph display page. And again, you need to specify store in order to enable this function. And you need to enumerate a file and folder somewhere on your hard drive. As with the readings display, each reading data acquisition time updates the graph image so that at any point in time, you have the most recent JPEG image of your graph on your local hard drive. Finally, notice the icon on the tab for the data storage page. It shows currently a floppy disk symbol indicating that at least one file type is being stored. This is a quick indication for you at a glance to see that files are being stored if you turn off all file storage, you can see that it reverts to the red X, indicating that no files are being stored. That's it for this video on data storage. I hope you'll continue watching these tutorials for SQM Reader Pro. Thanks for watching.